Tablighi Jamaat, a house divided. This is a multiple part presentation about exactly who the Jamaat at Tablighi are. I will be making this presentation based upon a doctoral thesis that we mentioned later on. The purpose of this is for a sincere, academically minded, intelligent person to understand exactly what Jamaat al tabligh is, where it comes from, who they are, what they believe, and how they behave and act. The reason why the Jamaat al-Tabligh is so important and so critical to understand in the modern period is because if you look at the United Kingdom, they have over 700 mosques. And in London alone, they have 192 mosques. The second group, known as the Brelvi, have approximately 350. So in the United Kingdom and London at least, the Jamaat al-Tabligh is absolutely massive. There is nothing that compares to Jamaat al-Tabligh in the UK. That's why they're important, that's why we need to understand them. The thesis that I'll be taking my knowledge from is entitled The Contentious Politics of Socio- political engagement, the transformation of the Tablighi Jamaat in London. This was submitted by Dr. Zacharias Peter Peary to the University of Exeter as a thesis for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Ethno-Political Studies, May 2012. So what happens when you have a doctoral dissertation is you have an abstract and I'll be using his abstract in order to highlight what his opinion of the Jamaat al-Tabligh is and along the way as I scan through his work I will be giving my notes. So this is not really an analysis or a review, it is an annotated commentary. He states in his abstract that Engagement may have initially been a tick box exercise for London TJ leaders, but interacting with the wider community has had a transformative effect. TJ leaders in London emerged as practically minded, demonstrating adaptability to local contexts, ensuring the survival of the movement the durability of this, given the conservative and revivalistic nature of the movement, will be a test of time. Now he there is praising the Jamaat al-Tabligh, the TJ, the TJs in London. And the reason why he's praising those in London is because there is a split between the North and the South. The Diobandis in the North and the Tablighis, Diobandis, Tablighis, TJs, Jamaat al-Tabligh, they are a different kettle of fish altogether. The ones in the north are not as advanced, educated, progressive and transformative as the ones in the south in London. And this presentation will prove that. So the first thing a doctoral thesis contains is a thing called a, a literature review. You have to review all the stuff that has been written about the topic, everything that's been discussed. And the person writing the thesis, his literature review, um, mentions a number of theses, a number of works that have already proceeded. And before we actually get to the literature review, I'd just like to introduce to you Dr. Zacharias Peary. He's currently an associate professor at the University of South Florida. He's a specialist on the Jamaat al-Tabligh. He spent three years of his life studying the Jamaat al-Tabligh, their works, uh, their 
members, their leadership, their hierarchy, their structure, their organization. And he mentions in his thesis, he spent over 150 contact hours, listened to many hours of bayans, presentations. And um, he's in a good place to understand exactly who the tabligh are. He mentions certain studies. Amongst them is one done by a scholar called um, Muhammad Khalid Masood. It was a cross-cultural study and it provided a rich analysis of the TJ in different contexts. Then there was another famous scholar called Barbara Metcalf. I have linked to a lecture of hers in the link section below. Uh, she is a world specialist on Theobandi Islam and particularly its early activities. And then there was another researcher, 2000 and 2006. His name was Mark Gaborio. And another one called Philip Lewis, who studied the Jamaat al Tabligh, particularly in the north of England. And his work, Philip Lewis's work, was in 1994. And another work by a man called Yoginda Sikand. His book was called The Origins and Development of the Tablighi Jamaat, 1920 to 2000. And that was a thesis submitted to Royal Holloway University. Professor Peary quotes Sikand. He states, From its phase of consolidation in Britain, in the 1960s and the 1970s, the TJ seems to have entered a phase of gradual decline, with the emergence of a new generation of British-born Muslims. Many young British Muslims today would seem to find the Tablighi version of Islam outmoded, if not un-Islamic. By making no significant modifications on its methods and approach to suit the exigencies of the British context, the TJ seems to have little hope for any very significant breakthroughs in Britain in the years to come. So that was research that was done 18 years ago now. Mm -hmm. 18 years since Sikhan's research and when Peary is writing, it was 10 years since Sikhan's research. There was another study that Peary did not mention and I found. So I'll mention it just for the sake of completion. But we can't really criticize Peary for this because this thesis came out at exactly, well, a year, a year, give or take a year or two around the time Peary's work came out. So it was, um, you can't really criticize him for not mentioning it. But it was entitled A Critical Hadith Study of the Tablighi Nisab and Its Intellectual Impact on the Jamaat al-Tablighi, a thesis submitted to the University of Birmingham for a PhD by Yunus al-Turkistani. This was a hadith study specifically on the Tablighi Nisab a very famous tablighi book. That's the literature. That's where I'm going to take my sources. And in the next part, I will criticize and analyze and annotate what else Dr. Peary has to say about the TJs.